Hello and welcome back to WordPress for Beginners 2015. In this video we are going to configure our DNS settings and point our domain to our web space. So what exactly does it mean when I say we are pointing the domain at our web space? We know we registered our domain at GoDaddy in our web space at a small orange. However, GoDaddy doesn't know that. So when we enter our domain name into the browser, GoDaddy will try to find their website and of course it can't, so it redirects to a temporary page. When we're configuring DNS, we're telling GoDaddy that a website is hosted somewhere else. In this case, it's hosted at a small orange. GoDaddy will then know in the future if a user requests that particular domain, GoDaddy should forward that request onto a small orange. Then a small orange will point the user in the right direction. So how does a small orange point a user in the right direction? How does ASO know where our website is? You'll recall that when we signed up for web hosting, we specified our domain. That particular step instructed a small orange that if it gets a request for that domain, this is where the website is. To simplify this even further, our domain is travelblogger.com. We first told a small orange there is a site on its servers with the domain travelblogger.com. We then told GoDaddy that travelblogger.com is with a small orange. What ends up happening is, when a user types in travelblogger.com, GoDaddy forwards that request to a small orange. ASO then looks through its servers and sees travelblogger.com exists. It then redirects visitors to that website. In a nutshell, we are linking your domain to your web space. Let's get started. First, go to www.godaddy.com and log in. After you've logged in, click on Domains. Find the domain you registered earlier and under the Action column, click Launch. Beside Name Servers, click Manage. In the pop-up window, change the radio button to the Custom option. Click on Add Name Server. To check the name servers you're assigned to, refer to the account information email you received from a small orange. Within that email, scroll down to Name Server Information. In this case, it is ns1 and ns2.asmallorange.com. Ignore the server IP column. Go back to the Add Name Server window and type in the two name servers in the email. In this case, ns1.asmallorange.com and ns2.asmallorange.com. Click OK when you're done, then click Save. We have just linked our domain and web space. Bear in mind that it'll take 24 to 48 hours for the new DNS information to be propagated. What that means is once you change the DNS information of your domain, your domain registrar, in this case GoDaddy, will propagate the new information to all name servers in the world. So when anyone types in your domain, it'll correctly point to your website. It's recommended that you wait until your DNS information has been propagated before doing anything else. While it's possible to upload and access your website before propagation, it does lead to some minor complications and should be avoided if you have little to no experience dealing with it. A useful tool to check propagation status is www.whatsmydns.net. In the search field, type in your domain. Select NS from the dropdown and then click search. If the results are showing mostly ticks, your DNS has been propagated. If it's mostly crosses, the propagation process has not yet been completed. Another way to check propagation status is by typing your domain into the browser. If a temporary page from GoDaddy is showing up, it means the process has not yet been completed. If a temporary page from a small orange is showing, it means the domain is pointing to the right destination, but because there is no website, only a temporary page is showing, therefore meaning the propagation process has been completed. DNS propagation can take anywhere between a few hours to up to 48 hours, but the process really takes longer than a day. Next, we are going to go over the tools and software we are going to need. 